So you can see some people walking down the path. They appear as bright orange moving blobs. And if we go back up the tree, you can see that orange core that's just visible there. And that is the vent of the bees nest. And if we go back to ordinary, it's up in that tree. Unfortunately, with the back, the backlight of the afternoon setting sun, um, you can't see the, the detail of the nest itself. So as you can see the close-up, as and we go back to ordinary film, ordinary photography, that's the entrance to the bees nest. And as we go back to infrared, you can see the core further down producing an extra temperature of around 20, 25 degrees centigrade and the plume of heat that's rising up out of the vent itself. So that's definitely an active colony, keeping warm for the winter. Just as another example in the same tree, there's another woodpecker hole right in the middle. I think you can just about see. If I switch to infrared, you'll see there's no hotspot because there's no actual nest in there. The actual bee's nest is in another bough. So um, we can identify exactly where the nest is, the size of it, and um, where to put the saw cups in the dead tree when it comes down. Um, if I go back to the nest and we go to infrared, you can see the hot spot. So it's quite a small localised vent and um, we know that that limb is the only place where there are live bees. There does look to be a further warm spot further down, but um, that's not hot enough and there's no exit point. So we're just going to focus on that one point just there on top right hand side. That's Beesmax, November 2022.